Okay, so you want to use the Discord overlay thingamajig, stream get overlay on DMs, but Discord doesn't really have the option to for you to use DMs. Well, there's two ways to do this. The first way and the easiest way is actually to use this, which is Fugitech. It's like the... It's... It's... Uh, it's self-explanatory, like link in, link in the description, just use this if you want it fast and easy. But if you want some more customization, customization, whatever you want to say, yeah. If you want some more customization, you may want to actually use the stream kit overlay thing on, on from Discord. So if you want to do that, then here's how you do it. You want to get the URL from the stream kit Discord overlay. The server and voice doesn't matter. Like you can use any server or voice for that thing. It doesn't really matter. But you can uh, wait. How do I? <laughs> wait, sorry. I I I actually need to resize the window so that you can see here. This so I can see the link. Mm. So you want to grab the stream kit link over here, like this one, and then just grab that and paste it onto Discord or something, or like a text editor or something. You just want to paste it, and then next what you want to do is do is go to user settings and then enable developer con like the developer mode if you haven't yet. Go to your settings and then go to advanced over here, and then you want to enable this developer mode. You want to enable this too. Uh, well. Yeah, so you can copy IDs of stuff. And next you want to uh, go to the DM you want to get, you know, the DM you want to use, and then right click. You copy message link, and then you want to like uh, paste the link in here. Next you want to grab this part of the link, like at me slash, and then the first set of numbers until the next slash. You want to copy that, and then you want to replace this over here to uh, do the thing that you just copied. So yeah, and you should be done. Yeah, you, uh, let, me, let, let me just like make a browser source to uh, show you. Boop. And let me copy this. And if it will load. Wait, did I did I do a mistake? Somewhere. Oh, never mind. Whoops. Oopsies. I forgot. Uh, okay. Yeah, that my mistake there. Don't copy this. Like, you know, when, when you're copying this part, don't copy the slash. I, for, I forgot this. Like, over here, I got a slash in front of the, uh, I mean, behind the question mark. You don't want that slash. And yeah, see, as you can see, it's working now. Mm, so, oh, yeah, if you, if you want, like, the default thing image, I guess, like, the default Discord, Discord, reactive image thing image but on uh dms you can do that and you can also like customize it with css like some example of uh this is like uh this thing that i made like yeah you can't really you can't really do something like this if you're using regular like if you're using fuji tech so yeah if you know how to code in css then you can like make stuff like this yeah so I guess this is the end of the video. Yeah, only took like three minutes. Uh, thank you for watching, I guess. And I won't really bother asking you to sub because it is not really my usual content. So yeah, I'm out. Bye-bye.